Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Today we have a public land turkey hunt with Jay and his son Gannon down here in the Sand Hills of North Carolina. Hope you enjoy this hunt. Make sure you watch the whole thing through for us. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to our channel, all that good stuff. We appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoy it. Saturday morning. Gang City is her own goblin. What a call. So we're looking on it. Trying to get close. Down here at the sand. It's game land.
came this side. That one you still got. He's got a beard. Stone Cold Killer. Did you not see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see him until the last time I called. Because the one goblin was under there. And I thought, oh my gosh, there's a turkey right there. And that's when I zoomed in on him. And he, he was far off. Mm -hmm. Like, I saw him from like, I saw him like 60 yards that way. Mm -hmm. And I saw him come in. I saw him go behind the tree, and I was like, and you asked him, or, and you asked me, is was that gobble far farther off? And I was like, I don't know. I, I think that turkey might be far off, but this one, you know, I saw him. <laughs> I'm going to slip up there and grab that turkey. You can see here. Listen, okay? Man, Gannon laid that bird out, didn't he? But the gobbler's still close by. Stay with us and see if Jay can get on it. I had to try. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. He gone. Well, daddy missed. <laughs> How far was he? About 35 yards? I was shooting through some junk. He had spooked, he putted a couple times. He was leaving. I just threw a Hail Mary out there. I got him off his feet. He flew away. <laughs> it don't matter. My baby boy got one. That's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Man. We got him starting on camera, though. That's right. That's right. It can seem so easy, and it can seem so hard in the same day. Well, it's all gravy from here. We hunt the rest of the day. Maybe I'll find one. Well, we know where he is, but he might be a little spooked, we think.
up in that ditch. I sure don't see him. So oh, yeah, he's in the ditch. Go pick him up. Sure, Reach up under him and grab his feet. He's dead. He ain't gonna flap at all. <laughs> he's dead. Grab his feet. They're under there somewhere. Just find them. That's all right. Sweet. I, I thought that his fan was a little small. That's okay. That's all right. They're legal. If Daddy would have done his part, we'd have had a gobbler and a jake. But I didn't. Yeah, see his nubs? See his spurs? Yeah. Beard. There's his beard. All right. Jib jib. We'll use that fan in Kentucky. <laughs> okay. See what you do is you hold the base of the of the of the feather, tail feather, and you spread them out like that, and you smile way for the camera. G-Man the turkey slayer. Shot won't be about 20, maybe 25 yards. The gobbler was gobbling right about there. I had the camera pointing in that direction. I just made a call and I saw that bird. About 35 yards right there. I turned the camera and zoomed up on him. He looked like a red head, but I couldn't see a beard. I told Ben to make sure he's got a beard. And the gun went boom. You ain't tired already, are you? We got a long walk to the truck. <laughs> Get ready. You got to carry him. That's your bird. Good. Piece of cake. <laughs> Is he getting heavy? All right. All right, it's about 10 o'clock. I guess I'm gonna watch on. We've been fiddling around. Right, Gannon? He's been playing on his phone. <laughs> I've been playing on the phone. I had to make sure everybody knew my son killed a turkey. So I figured. Hopefully the birds are looking for that second hen, right? That's the idea. So when we were coming back from the from the kill site to the truck, we actually walked up on two hens. They were by themselves. They were in that direction right there. And the bird that I shot and missed flew in this direction right here. Two and a half hours ago. This is all game land, so we're gonna go that way. And there's a bottom in there. We'll probably cross that bottom, call every now and then. There's another hill on the other side that I'm gonna set up on. And um, 
play the waiting game again and hopefully get one goblin. Who knows? Um, either way, we've had a good day already, so I'm not really worried about killing another bird. We're going to just try. Since we're here, might as well try it, right? So, you ready to roll? Mm hmm. All right. We haven't heard anything, haven't heard a bird at all since we come back in the woods after cleaning gannets. So we're going, we're, we're down here on this creek. Same creek we killed on earlier, but on the opposite side. Down, down the creek further. We know there's birds in here. Uh, still pretty windy. That's another reason for them to be down low on this creek. We're gonna sit here and call a little bit for about a half an hour, maybe an hour. I don't know if we hear something. It's getting hot. We're both thirsty. Running out of water, and um, got one bird in the truck. So, I tell you, it's tough to keep going. I'll be honest, it's hot. But it's opening day, so we're gonna keep trying. Right, Gannon. <laughs> Gannon's ready to go. Well, we've had his little nap. I think he's had more than I have. <sighs> Tired. We're going to head back to the truck and call it quits, I believe. So, maybe we'll hear a guy between here and the truck. Gannon says, I hope not. <laughs> I hope we do. About 12 noon, so. We're going to head in that direction. All right, guys, it's about 12.30. We're done for the day. Little man just can't go no more. He needs some water on his head. <laughs> he did good this morning. He shot that turkey that came in. My hair nice, my hair nice. Careful now. He did good though. Um, the bird he shot came in silent. Uh, the gobbler was, um, well, the tom was gobbling. He was still 50, 60 yards away, and and we neither one had seen him. And um, as he got closer, I turned again and I was like, touch my knee if you see him, you know, and, and point. So I don't know where to put the camera. Well, he gobbled one time and I did another yelp. And as I was yelping, I saw the, the Jake that Gannon shot at 35, 40 yards, probably closer than that. I was like, it's a turkey right there. And at the same moment that Tom gobbled, I was like, well, that ain't the gobbler. So I told Gannon, I was like, make sure he's got a beer before you shoot. And he crossed the ditch and came up behind the log and I zoomed up on him tight. It looked like a redhead. I couldn't see his chest, know if he was a be had a beard or not. And he laid the smack down on him. I was like, man, I hope that's at least a Jake. And it was. So we celebrated there for a couple seconds. And um, 
I was like, I wonder if this bird's still around. So I yelped and cut real hard one time and he gobbled. I was like, sit back down. That bird may still come in. And daggone if he didn't, he circled around and came through some um, brushy stuff. But then and saw him before I did again, he punched, punched my knee and pointed. And um, he was strutting, and I could see I could see his fan. The sun was behind him, and his fan was just beautiful. But I couldn't shoot; it was just too thick. I yelped one time, trying to get him to stand up, and he and he did. But and and on and on the camera, you're gonna see that um, if I'd have been the cameraman, I could have killed him because it's a clear shot, but where I sit, I couldn't, I didn't have a clear shot. So he putted a couple times and he turned around. I knew he was leaving. And I, he bobbed through an opening somewhat. And I launched one at him and he flew off. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna tie this up, head on back to Ashboro. And remember, we're working, working for a living, living and living, living for, for the, the outdoors. outdoors. That was pretty good. That was pretty good, yeah.